Hello there, this is Jess. I'm a German artist, writer and, of course, Genshin Impact player. In this video, I want to break down the German words and phrases used in the game and tell you how they are pronounced properly in my mother tongue, since, unfortunately, neither the English nor the Japanese voice actors are pronouncing them correctly. So, without further ado, let's start with the Wind Nation's name Mondstadt, or Mondo in Japanese. Mondstadt literally means Moon City. When I first heard it, I was actually pretty surprised that they used German in Genshin Impact at all. The pronunciation is quite okay as well. In German, we would actually say it like this, Mondstadt. So, a soft D at the end of Mond, followed by a harder but not sharp T sound in Stadt. ST is usually pronounced like an SH sound plus a T sound combined, so like SHT, Scht, Mond, Stadt. Okay, let's go to the characters next. Most are not German names, so I'll skip those and focus on the ones which clearly originate from Germany. First, there's Barbara. I call her Bob for short. <laughs> In German, we would call her Barbara, so more of a clear A ah sound instead of that, let me call it, twisted A R sound in English. Barbara. Barbara. Next one is Diluc. Honestly, I'm not quite sure about the origins of his name, but it sounds like an Asian version of the German name Dirk. Dirk. Especially if you pronounce it a bit Japanese, the similarities are quite astonishing. Diluku. Diluk. See? Still, that's just my personal thought, so I may be wrong. Klee is one of my favorite names, as it literally means clover, which appears all over her clothes as well. In German, it sounds like this. Klee. While the English one sounds more like Lee with a K in front, Klee, make sure to use a clear E sound for the German pronunciation. Klee. Klee. Then there's our queen of climbing with weird noises. <laughs> Lisa. It's actually not pronounced that differently in German. Lisa. The only difference is the I sound. In German, it's more like Lisa. Not sure what else to tell you about this one, so yeah, I'll continue right away. Mona is more of a nickname in German for the name Simona. So, as you can guess, it's the O sound that's different this time. Mona, Mona, Mona. The start sounds similar to Mond in Mondstadt. Mon, A, Mond, Mona. Last but not least, Fischl. Honestly, it's not even a German word, but it sounds similar to fish. German word for fish, you know, the ones swimming in the water. Anyway, if we assume that the L sound in the end is supposed to be an ER sound instead and was just wrongly translated, it'd be Fischer, which would mean fisherman. Again, this is just speculation on my part, though. Fischer. Okay, let's move on to other German words in the world of Tevet. First, there's the Holy Liar de Himmel. Holy Liar de Himmel. Literally, Holy Liar of Heavens. I'm actually not a big fan of mixing English and German words, but well. So, in English, they pronounce it like this Holy Liar de Himmel. When it's actually Der Himmel. Meanwhile, in Venti's vision story, warning, slight spoilers ahead, it is said that the liar he uses is called Der Frühling, which can basically be translated to the spring. Der Frühling, Der Himmel. For the last part, I'll rush through Fischl's and Oz's weird speaking habits a little bit. <laughs> Oz regularly calls Fischl Mein Fräulein. Mein Fräulein. Fun fact, the term Fräulein is no longer being used in everyday speech in German. Mein Fräulein can be translated into My Lady. Mein Fräulein. Fischl's title Prinzessin Dürbehörterland would be pronounced Pr 
Prinzesse der Verurteilung, which means Princess of Condemnation. I'm not exactly sure about the English translation, but that's the one used in the wiki, so yeah, let's go with that one. Again, the German pronunciation would be Prinzessin der Verurteilung. The fictitious realm she says she originates from Immernachreich is actually pronounced Immernachtreich. The first part, Immernacht, means something like eternal night. Reich can be translated as kingdom or realm. I would use realm for official even though the wiki uses kingdom, but yeah, that depends on preference, I guess. Immernachtreich. Regarding her vision, she calls it Edelstein der Dunkelheit, which is German for Gem of Darkness. The correct pronunciation would be Edelstein der Dunkelheit, whereupon Edelstein means Gem and Dunkelheit means Darkness. Edelstein der Dunkelheit. In her voice lines, she also tells us that her left eye is an oh, der Verörterlung. an eye of condemnation. Eye means Auge in German, so it would sound like this, Auge der Verurteilung. Her favorite food is called Mitternachtbrot des Sommernachtgartens, which translates to Midnight Bread of the Summer Night Garden. I definitely think that this is a really difficult name to pronounce for non-German speakers. It actually would sound like this, Mitternachtsbrot des Sommernachtgartens. Fischl definitely has a knack for theatralics. So that's it. If I forgot any German word in Genshin Impact, please let me know in the comments. This is also the first time I do a video like this in English, and if I pronounced anything wrong, please don't hesitate to point it out. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope I was able to ease your struggles with German words in Genshin Impact, at least for a bit. <laughs> See ya!